Hello everybody, my name is Christian Charlo. Welcome to this market report. Today we're Thursday, August 28, 2014. Today folks, I want to make a follow-up on the last market report I made on August 19 concerning coal, uranium, and natural gas stocks where we had actually a potential an upward movement that was coming on those sectors. Today though, we have a lot of tensions going on in Ukraine and Russia. Actually, the pres Prime Minister of Ukraine, is, President of Ukraine, is actually calling for a meeting on the Security Council. So right now, for the markets on those stocks, on most of them, we actually have a neutral formation. So it's still a hold if you participated in that movement on August 19 on most of those positions. However, there have been some positions where if ever you make 5%, you have to take some profit. So let's take a look at this chronicle here to see how the stocks in the energy sector have been performing. First of all, the movement started on August 19. So far, we have maintained the rally. Right now, we're still keeping the upward trend despite the pause that we're having on the energy sector in the US. It's the same thing with the ETF that tracks the energy sector in the US. If we take a look at the coal sector though, we see coal has stayed totally flat if we take a look at some stocks here, for instance, Alpha Natural Resources, that stock was recommended among our analyst choice on marketgurus.tv that you can have access for free for 10 days. Here we publish every day on a daily basis the best stocks to buy and to short. And Alpha Natural Resources is still among our analyst choice portfolio on marketgurus.tv. We're still holding on to it. Why? Because the trend is our friend and our exit point on Alpha Natural Resources is if ever the stock goes below 380, which corresponds to that support that was tested many times. Peabody Energy broke out on August 19. However, the stock has not performed as well as Alpha Natural Resources. I think Peabody Energy, if ever uh, it goes below 1550, you're gonna have to get out of it. But so far, I think you have to be patient because right now we're just testing the support, but 1550, goodbye Peabody Energy. Arch Coal did break out on the 20th, However, Arch Coal has not performed well. Below three bucks, you have to get rid of Arch Coal because it will go below that support and you don't want to wait for Arch Coal to go below 287. Also, we have Console Energy. That was a stock that I said that should be watched if ever the momentum took more strength. Well, the momentum didn't take as much strength as we would have liked. So Console Energy is still stuck within its side information. However, the good thing though is that the longer we stay within the side information, the better will be the technical signal that will come out of it. So whenever console energy breaks the 41 resistance on a higher volume, definitely I think that you should watch that because at the same time, it will also reverse this important downward trend for console energy. Now let's talk about the uranium sector though. Actually in the sector, we did have an exposure, a long exposure that we recommended on marketgurus.tv on the sector. And on marketgurus.tv, the stock that was among our analyst shorts portfolio is Uranium Resources. So on August 19, we did recommend that stock as a buy. So far, the stock is performing really well at three bucks. So two cents more, this is the point where we're going to recommend to actually take some profit. So right now, we're actually two cents away from taking the profit on Uranium Resources. Mega Uranium, so far, since the breakout of August 19, as is continuing to be a hold. I think the good thing with Mega Uranium though is that if we take a look on the longer term, we see that we're getting right now at the edge of this important upward triangle formation in Mega Uranium. And I think the fact that the 10 has been able to stay above the 30 moving average, it's definitely a good sign. I think Mega Uranium is still a hold as long as the stock doesn't go below 21 cents for me, Mega Uranium should continue to be put on your uh, hold list. Now, Paladin Energy broke out on August 19. Since then, it's making a side formation. So right now, we're waiting for a new opportunity to get in on a stock like Paladin Energy. And there was also one stock that I told you that you should watch for an eventual breakout. Finally, it did break out. It was Lightbridge on August 20th. So one day after the stock did break out. So right now for Lightbridge, I think it's still a hold. The stock is just maintaining its upward trend. The target is 352 and your exit point should be around 264 on a stock like Lightbridge because at 264, it will also reverse this upward trend. Now, concerning the natural gas sector, what has been going on there? Well, there have been some stocks who have 
perform really nicely and some of them where you should continue to hold on to your position. The stock where you should continue to hold on your long positions are stock like Enbridge. It did break out, tested its stop, now it's making a side information. I think as long as Enbridge stays above 53 bucks, it's still a hold on Enbridge. I think you're going to have to tolerate that sideway formation though for a while for Enbridge. Berkeley Energy did break out. However, it broke out around 11.50, 11.70. Right now around 12.50, 12 12 it's at least 5%. So I think on Berkeley Energy though, even if there's this all portrait that's still maintained, I think it's a good uh, profit-taking opportunity if you participated in the movement on August 19. I'm just scared that Berkeley Energy might go further down though and even go lower than that downward trend. So this is why I think that Berkeley Energy represents a profit-taking opportunity. Now for Black Pearl Resources, it did break out after. However, Black Pearl Resources has not performed really well. At 220 and lower, we're going to have to get rid of it. Nuvista Energy, just like en Enbridge, not Enbridge, sorry, uh, Berkeley, Nuvista Energy also represents a profit-taking opportunity. I was a little bit skeptical about this breakout though, but finally it did perform well. So right now it's clearly a profit-taking opportunity in Nuvista Energy. And I think it's important to do so because you don't want to be caught and wait for the stock to clearly reverse its downward trend. Now, Arc Resources, it broke out on August 19. So far, it's still a hold as long as the stock stays above 3060. And Range Resources did break out the day after. No, sorry, on the 26th, it did break out. So you have to be a little bit more patient. And now, at 7611, this is your exit point on a stock like Range Resources. So on most of those stocks, it's still a hold. I'm going to highlight the stocks where you're near to take some profit. A stock like Uranium Resources in the Uranium sector, soon you're going to have to take some profit on a stock like that. Berkeley it's a profit-taking opportunity, and Nuvista Energy, it's a profit-taking opportunity. Don't forget what I told you in the first market report concerning coal and natural gas stocks, that if you bought those stocks on the 19th of August, make sure you put your stop loss. So on most of them, uh, your stop loss have not been exercised because we have not broken that the support. However, it's important to do so because right now, markets are neutral. There's still some tensions going on in Ukraine right now, and right now investors are actually staying on the sideline and are waiting for a new direction concerning the energy sector, which is totally neutral. So this was Christian Charlo from MarketGurus.tv. You can always also chat with us on Facebook, share your strategies on, on our Twitter, and we definitely look forward to see you again next week for your market report.